If there's one category of gadget that I don't often get enthusiastic about, it's printers. Because what do you say about a new printer that's different from the one that went before? Well, this one is different. This is the Epson L550. Yes, it's a printer, a scanner, and a fax machine. It has a sheet feeder and a flat bed, but it's different in one other fundamental respect to almost every other printer on the market. And that is because it doesn't use cartridges, but it uses ink tanks, refillable tanks. You can see it has cyan, magenta, yellow, and black tanks. And each of these is refilled through bottles rather than cartridges. And that cuts the cost dramatically. Each of these bottles, and there's one for each color, costs around 120 rand as opposed to your typical cartridge that costs between 300 and 400 rand. But that's not where the cost saving ends. The black cartridge gives you about 4,000 pages, whereas each of the colored cartridges gives you up to about 6,000 pages. Now, for the average user and the average small office, that is an amount of printing that you don't do in a year. And for some people, that they never do. So for some users, the ink never runs out. That's exciting in terms of the uh, cost of running a small office. But in terms of the overall strategy and the thinking behind that kind of technology, I would like to introduce Calvin Reynolds, the general manager of Epson Southern Africa, to tell us more about why Epson went this route and what it means for the local market. Yeah, Arthur, the, the um, cost of printing has always been a composite of the cost of the printer and its cartridges. And the cost of cartridges in itself has always been a grudge issue for a long time. So Epson's changed its approach um, from moving from a cartridge-based uh, model to an ink tank-based uh, solution. So we're the first vendor to have a, a fully integrated system that is covered by normal warranty. And of course, our objective was to reduce the overall cost of printing. Um, we believe that in many cases, we are reducing the, the cost of printing by up to 65%. That's dramatic. And do you think the paperless office is still a myth? Um, Arthur, unfortunately, I think it is. Um, if we uh, look at recent research in the United Kingdom by a company called TNS, um, the, uh, the amount of printing that's done by an individual has definitely declined over time, but the uh, number of people that are now printing has increased. So in an immature market in, like South Africa, in fact, the amount of printing in totality is actually increasing. So by having this kind of uh, solution, in fact, you aren't reducing the amount of printing, but you're certainly reducing the cost of that growing printing. Absolutely, yeah. This is a significant saving to the average user. Where does this technology go next? Uh, um, I think we're, uh, I wouldn't be giving away too many secrets to say that we intend using this on more business-like machines. And of course it will become, um, the tanks will become bigger or perhaps we won't even use tanks. We may use other containers such as bags uh, this is in our development plans, all about uh, reducing the cost of printing. I've in fact seen the bags uh, being demonstrated at uh, Epson headquarters in Japan. Yes. And it's not the most elegant of solutions, but the cost savings that comes uh, from that are so dramatic that I think people are going to look past the elegance of it, but they're also going to be concerned about the issues like the messiness of filling the tanks themselves. How do you address that? Um, Arthur, I, I don't think it's a, it's a difficult uh, operation whatsoever. The refilling of the, of the cartridges uh, is simply done by breaking off this, the top of this little bottle and pouring them in. Um, and uh, so far I haven't uh, managed to make a mess of that. Uh, whereas on the bigger machines which you have seen the demonstrations of, those, uh, those packs will not be refilled, they'll be replaced. Um, that's, the, that's the approach. And actually almost a one-handed operation. Very simple. Thanks, Kelvin. Well, there you have it. The future of printing is continually being reprinted.